hello everyone welcome back to mrs jewelry food channel in today's recipe i am going to show you how i make a very very tasty chiozafi with ayoyo soup and this is my style by the way so let's get right into it i have got two kilos of meat here beef briskets beef tribes and oxtail and you can use any meat you like and I'm going to steam my meat with one onion. I have got two thumb sized ginger. I have got three peppers, but don't be alarmed, they are not spicy at all. And five garlic cloves. So, the first thing I am going to do is to cut my onion roughly because it's going to be blended. And then I am going to chop my ginger in small pieces. You could also use ginger paste if that's what you have at home okay friends today i'm going to use my hand blender so i'm adding my onion and then i'm gonna add my fresh ginger and then my three scotch bonnets and i repeat it these are not spicy so that's why i am using three otherwise use one and my garlic then i'm gonna add my beef flavoring stock and i'm going to add two tablespoons next i'm gonna add one tablespoon of adobo seasoning then one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning this is sweet agilates by the way and then i'm gonna add two maggi cubes you can use one if you don't like maggi cubes and then i'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt to it next i'm gonna add one and a half cups of water to make it easier to blend okay and this is it I am now going to blend it with my hand mixer so blend it for a few minutes until it is smooth just like you see here so this is what we are looking for next I am going to pour my mixture on my meat and then I am going to give it a little stir and I am going to cover it up and let it simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes on a medium heat. Now I'm checking on my meat after 20 minutes of cooking and it is looking good. I am just going to give it a little stir and leave it on for another 10 minutes. And this is it. My meat is ready. And now I'm just going to remove the beef brisket, not the oxtail, just the beef brisket. And something I like to do is I like to fry my beef, but you don't have to. But if you do, you see a big difference. So if you can fry the beef, please, I advise you to do it because mm, it is excellent. All right, so my beef brisket has been frying for about seven to 10 minutes and now I'm just going to take it out of the oil. And this is what I'm going to use for my stew. I have got one onion, a thumb sized ginger and one scotch bonnet pepper that I'm going to blend again with my uh, hand blender. And I also added one tablespoon of water just to make it easier for the blender. I also have my plum tomatoes here. I have got three cans, but you can use chopped tomatoes or even fresh tomatoes. And I'm going to blend it with my hand blender again. By the way, you can check my hand blender review if you haven't got one. Next, I'm going to pour one cup of Zomi palm oil in my pan. And when it is hot, I'm going to add two chopped onions. Give it a little stir and let it fry for about three minutes next this is optional but i'm gonna add one tablespoon of tomato puree or tomato paste and let it fry for about two minutes next i'm gonna add my blended pepper to it and then i'm going to give it a stir and leave it to fry for about two minutes and now is the time to add my blended tomatoes so i repeat it these are three cans of plump tomatoes give it a stir and cover it and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes on a medium heat to low 
all right friends so this is my stew now after 20 minutes and it started to look great already it smells so good just giving a little stir and then i'm gonna add my meat to it and i also separated it from the stock okay so here i've got just a little bit stock with the meat right next i'm going to stir it and i'll be adding my seasoning so I'm adding one tablespoon of ground crayfish and you can substitute it with prawn. Then I'm going to add half a dawa dawa. You know, there is no teozafi stew without dawa dawa. <laughs> okay, and you can add as much as you like. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of beef flavoring stock. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of all-purpose savory seasoning. And the brand is called Knorr. And then I'm going to add one Maggi cube, which is optional. And last but not least, I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Now I'm going to stir it and leave it to cook for about two minutes. And then I'm going to add my fried beef, guys. And once again, try it with the fried beef. It takes it to a whole new level. <laughs> all right so now stir it and leave it to cook for another seven minutes on the lowest heat possible and this is it guys look at this wonderful chiozafi stew and this is a close-up here and it smells so good so now that our stew is ready let's do the ayoyo soup all right so i'm going to use uh molokia leaves the frozen one and when you take it out of the packet this is how it looks like and i'm going to use four packets all right so in a pan pour in the meat stock you left so this is why i said keep it because you need it to make your yo-yo soup let it boil and then add in one chopped small size onion and it's optional not everybody adds it now stir it and leave it to cook for about two minutes and then i'm going to add my crayfish powder or ground crayfish and i'm going to add three tablespoons and if you don't have crayfish of course you can use brown powder or shrimp powder it's not a problem then i'm going to add one tablespoon of ground herrings or amane and then of course dawa dawa i'm going to add half a dawa dawa and you can always add more and i always say the more the better i'm saying it again <laughs> next give it a little stir and lower the heat and leave it on for about one minute and then it is the right time to add in your molokia leaf or ewedu or jute leaves next give it a quick stir and leave it on for about one minute on the lowest heat possible and then I'm going to add half a tablespoon of beef flavoring stock, but this is my preference. You don't have to do it. Then stir and it is done. So today I'm going to use the Kuma Stew Zafi. It's my first time using it and I'm going to try and follow the instructions. So I've got one cup of flour here and then I'm going to add three cups of water, mix it, and then I'm going to cook it on boiling water so i have boiled here about one liter of water and i'm going to make my porridge all right stir it and leave it to cook until you get a nice porridge just as this one so now i'm going to reserve one cup of porridge on the side and i'm going to add it later so i added my flour here but unfortunately i didn't realize it wasn't recording so i added it and then i stirred it and i added my cup of reserved porridge so i tried to follow the instructions on the box but uh, it didn't really work out like that so i had to keep adding water to it until it became softer so in total i added about one liter and a half of water to it to get it to the consistency i like so i'm not sure i'm going to buy this one next time <laughs> then i'm going to scoop one ladle of chiozafi and wrap it in cling film i didn't have the sachet but cling film is also okay and this is it so in all for that one kilo um, packet, I got about 
13 balls of Chiosa Fee. And I think it's not bad, but I'm not sure I'm going to buy this brand again next time. So now it's time for serving. So I'm going to put three balls of Chiosafi in my Asanka for my husband and one of my kids. And then I'm going to add some Ayuyu soup. My husband is the Ayuyu soup lover. He likes it a lot. So it has to be full on his plate <laughs> but i guess it depends on everyone and then i'm going to add my stew on it mm, look at this guys are you just not tempted this is the perfect this is jury chosa fee and ayoyo soup recipe it is delicious guys so this is it and uh, i really hope you enjoyed it i tried my best this is my style and it is amazing so thank you all for watching don't forget to give me a like comment share my videos subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time thank you all and god bless you bye bye